What is up fam? It's your big bro Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. Um, yeah, thank y'all for joining me again for another reading. Today, this week, I'm going to be doing some experimentation with uh, adding different readings to the channel or just exper experimenting and see if uh, anyone would be interested in watching these uh, Zodiac uh, readings as well. And then I will, you know, it would expand based off of, you know, uh, personally how I feel and also how you guys like them. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. If you are Taurus, if you have Taurus in your chart, uh, this may apply to you. Okay. Let's see what we have going on for Taurus for the month of November, please. What do we have going on for Taurus for the month of November? All right. This wanted to come out in the bottom. Stuck energy. Overall, you could be feeling stuck in some area of your life, okay? Stuck energy may be uh, what you may be experiencing right now. We have status quo. We have ascended masters. Let me cut this down so at least we could, we could see the cards. We have increase. I just had increase for whose reading was that I have increase on? Which one was that? Let me see. It was Aquarius. I just Aquarius? No. Libra. One of them. Libra Aquarius. It was somebody in the uh, in the um air sign. So if you got air signs in your chart, you might want to check that reading out as well. But yeah, we have status quo. Ascended Masters, Increase in Stuck Energy. So you guys may be, you may feel like you're in, um, why did I just hear Hermit Mode? I don't know where that came from, but you might feel like you are in some sort of uh, state of stagnancy. You might be in Hermit Mode. You might not feel connected to people around you during this time for somebody, okay? Um, but you might, you might be in... Um, I was going to say airplane mode. Where is my mind right now? I was going to say, see, I feel like you guys are disconnected right now. For some reason, you might feel disconnected or you might, um, you might feel disconnected from life. I'm sorry, guys. I have the fan going on in the background. It's kind of hot in here right now. So in case you hear that noise, but, um, you guys may feel a little disconnected right now, right? You may feel like you're on autopilot. But the thing is right now is that you you have some sort of uh, divine intervention around you from the Ascended Masters. You got divine intervention around you during this time. So you, you have help. Things are changing for you or, or the spark is being lit back into your life because you are moving into a period of increase right here, right? So things are going to start flowing for you in a positive way. Uh, there's going to be... Um, Doors I'm, get, I'm getting for you guys. There's some doors that were closed for you are going to be reopening, okay? Yeah, you, you are going to get out of this stuck energy is what I'm getting. I'm getting don't. Uh, just keep going about your business, you feel me? Just keep going about your business and you will see. Um, just keep going and you'll, you'll, you'll see the doors opening and those opportunities opening up for you. To get a little, to get some different energy in your life, you y'all might. I feel like you guys, Taurus, may feel like, yo, what the hell is going on? Like, this is boring. Like, is this my life? I hear somebody saying, like, is this my life? Yeah, you may be in this workaholic uh, mode. You may be in this workaholic mode right now. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you may be in this workaholic energy to where you're just focusing on work. Right, or just focus, focusing on what you need to do, right? Spirit is telling you how to stay in a state of gratitude, right? I know sometimes when we, um, when we don't have things going in a specific way, it could be hard for us to to stay in that. Yeah, we could be impatient. Yeah, spirit is telling you that you might be feeling a lot of impatience right now because you want to achieve something, but you need to make sure that you continue. Uh, being in a state of gratitude for what you have right now in your life. Try to find something. In your life right now that you could be thankful for okay um 
there should be plenty of things is what I'm hearing. There should be plenty of things uh, that you have around you right now that you could be thankful for. So find something, find something, anything to be thankful for uh, to keep in the state of gratitude. Right. And um, it's telling you to, to, to be uh, patient. OK, give me one second. Yeah, because I I feel like some of you guys too, you may feel like you may be feeling like something is not fair. Okay? You may feel like something's not fair in your life, but um I'm hearing like don't let that get to your head. Don't let that don't let that uh make you get you into this this negative uh negative uh, spiral of energy, right? Don't let it get you into this negative headspace. Mm. Let's see what else we got going on here for you, Taurus. What's going on? What else is going on for Taurus? Ooh, this is messy. Yo, Taurus, you, you, I feel like your mind is all over the place. You guys need to make sure that you guys are not jumping to conclusions during this time. Make sure that you are not getting easily triggered because you might not be seeing the overall clear picture during this time. So make sure that you are, uh, not acting prematurely okay try to control your temper for somebody i don't know who needs to hear that try to control your temper try to um keep your, yourself in check okay we got withdrawal yeah didn't i tell you like it's, it's giving me like some sort of like hermit mode kind of thing you guys could be needing to withdraw are you you feeling feeling like that you need to back away from something or are you feel like you're being rejected by spirit. For some of y'all, y'all might, might feel like you're being rejected by spirit, but you're not, you know? We have origin here. It says uh, initiation, creativity, vitality. Something that you're working on right now is paying off for you, okay? Something with your creativity, or you need to tap into your creativity to, to, uh, to initiate this uh, state of increase. Or to stay in balance with that, right? Because I feel like this increase has something to do with your creativity as well. About you uh, doing doing something that you love, you know what I'm saying? And get yourself out of this stuck energy. Doing something that you love or if you already are doing it, keep doing it, you know? And have fun doing it. Don't worry about whether or not it's, it's paying off for you or um, whether or not you're getting some sort of reward from it. Just if it, if it makes you happy. Oh, I hear that song. If it makes you happy. Why am I hearing that song? It's like, if it makes you happy, then why are you sad? You know what I'm saying? It, you should be happy doing it. Just live your life, you know? And I feel like some proof is going to come to you. Some Something, some evidence, some some information, some key information is going to come to you and let to let you know, wow, okay, I'm on the right path. I'm really on the right path right now. I'm like, I'm not out here just looking crazy or, <laughs> you know, I'm not out here just... Uh, just doing this for nothing because I feel like some of you guys may feel like you're just doing something for nothing You know, uh, we have reservation number 29. This is the desire worth extravagance There may be something that you want you guys may be wanting to get by a new car a sports car Somebody may be wanting to get a BMW. I'm getting a Volvo for somebody a Passat What's the other one? Volkswagen Volkswagen Passat. Sorry. I said Volvo, but I mean Volkswagen Passat for somebody what is a what is a smaller Volkswagen car I don't know but um yeah somebody may be getting a new car you may be making a reservation to purchase that new car or you may have the funds you may finally have the funds to get a new vehicle or get something new okay that you've been wanting all right uh let's get some tarot in on well you know what I forgot let's do this daily oracle let me pull why do I keep saying pull? Uh, when I pull the book, I keep saying, let me pull something from the Daily Oracle. It's a book. Can't pull nothing from the book. But uh, let's go ahead and see what we got here for you guys. Guilt is use guilt is a useless emotion with zero redeeming qualities. Yeah, I don't feel guilty about. I feel like you guys may end up feeling are feeling guilty about what you've been blessed with, right? 
about this increase. Spirit is like, no, use this increase. For some of you guys, this is going to be an increase that's going to bring uh, some money into your life, right? But Spirit is like, no, don't be, um, don't feel guilty about having. Don't feel guilty about um, your hard work paying off or something working out for you, you know, finally working out for you. Don't feel guilty about that. Go ahead and have fun. Go ahead and, you know, um, uh, know that you're worthy of, of these blessings that are coming to you in your life, okay? Let's pull some tarot. What do we have for Taurus, please? What do we have for Taurus? Yeah, there's going to be a new beginning for you. A new beginning. And this new beginning is going to, is going to, is, is something that you've been, I feel like it's going to bring you, I'm getting like bring you into life. You know what I'm saying? Bring more life into your situation. Y'all, this could be a, a, a new hobby or something that you have going on. We got two of pentacles, four of cups, page of coins. Yeah, you guys may have been having issues with juggling something uh, like work life balance, um, like work home balance, whatever. Could be money for some people, but that's gonna that's getting ready. Spirit says you need to focus, focus on um, what you're passionate about because somebody, okay, focus on what you're passionate about because there there could be a money making opportunity coming through for you by focusing on what you're passionate about, okay. Um, also, for some people, you just you're just moving into that. Uh, stay focused on your goals, and it's gonna pay off for you. There's gonna be a brand new start that's uh, showing up for you, Taurus. Okay, let's get you guys something from the notebook oracle here. All right. What do we have for Taurus? <clears throat> we have course correct. Yeah, you guys may you guys may feel like you were on the wrong path. Okay, so spirit is like, no, it's not too late for you to course correct. This is number 75. Okay, it says recognizing you've gone down the wrong path or made a mistake is the first step. Now that you have realized the error in your ways, it's time to get back on the correct path to your highest good. It's not too late to change the course of things. You still have a fighting chance. You know what must be done or how things must be done, okay? So get back in, into the game the right way. Yeah, course correct, right? You may have uh, mistakenly gone down the wrong path, but Spirit is like, no. Now that you know that you've been thinking the wrong thing, or, or that you've been feeling the wrong thing or looking at things in the wrong way, it's time for you to do some course correction and get back on the right path right now, okay? So that's what I got for you, Taurus. Okay, if you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, let me know how you like it as well. And we'll